the cow says moo, the bird says chirp, and Nickelodeon says fuck. If you watched Nickelodeon during the NFL wildcard game, you heard a word that probably shouldn't be said on the channel. Yeah. I'm not a football guy, but I really like what Nick is doing with these wildcard games. They have a bunch of added effects and characters to make it a completely different experience, keeping the attention of anyone who cares to watch. They managed to make sports more entertaining. I respect it. But in the wild world of live TV, there will always be mistakes or moments that make you think, wait, what? You've already seen the title of this video. You know where I'm heading. Just listen to this. Each other, they could become lifelong friends when it's all said and done by the end of the day. And that's what's great about football. So the F-bomb is kind of hard to hear, but once you do, it's impossible to unhear. Nickelodeon is meant to be for all ages, so this kind of language comes out of nowhere. But if you want to know the weirdest part, this isn't the first time that word appeared on the channel. In fact, the other time was at last year's wildcard game. It's also way easier to hear. That was money. Appreciate for it, on his own. All right. If I had a nickel for every time someone dropped the F-bomb at a football game Nickelodeon aired, I would have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happens twice. Now, what I love about this situation is that it finally breaks the barrier of strict TV. Think about it. Everything behind the scenes is planned, from commercial placement to certain episodes of SpongeBob to everything in between. Some people have entire jobs dedicated to scheduling. Nickelodeon is made possible by specific decisions with almost no unexpected moments. They do whatever they can to protect the family-friendly brand. That's why when a four-letter swear appears on the channel, we all turn our heads. It's a small piece of chaos in an otherwise calculated channel. During live TV, there's no time to cover up mistakes, no time to censor the swears. It happens, and they just have to move on. Now, if history is anything to go by, next year there will be another football game. At this point, it's tradition. Someone's gonna drop the F-bomb, and we're all gonna laugh again. And hey, this is our first step towards getting that uncensored Sailor Mouth audio. <sighs> I wish. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos. Give a thumbs up and come up below let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.